Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how to open IFC files in FreeCAD 1.0 or later. FreeCAD 1.0 comes with a new feature of enabling native IFC modeling inside of FreeCAD and as a prerequisite to this video I recommend you watching a video which explains how the strict IFC mode works how the hybrid mode works or locked or unlocked mode works. So with that said, let's look at how opening IFC files work in FreeCAD. You've got two options. You can either open IFC file or you can import IFC file into existing project. At first, we will take a look at opening IFC file. So you can open IFC file by going to File, Open and selecting the IFC file. I've got a sample project here and I open it. And now you can see IFC import options show up. The important options are these three drop downs. And at first I will change the default ones. So from uh, insert import uh, opening only root objects to importing all individual IFC objects and instead of loading 3D representation only I will load the whole shape and leave the document locked so I will hit OK and the import happens and you can see that I've opened the file in the locked mode so only IFC objects uh, are able to now exist in this project and it's opened as an IFC project and the label is the name of the file or the name of the IFC project and it has got site inside the garage the building object the level object and then uh, all of the all of the walls and other IFC objects. Now I can work with these inside of FreeCAD or I can create, if I create a wall, it will be created again as an IFC object, not as a, not as a FreeCAD object. If I would now save this file, it would be saved uh, into, into the IFC, IFC format by default. So this is the this is the locked mode. You can see that I've got all of the elements visible and all of the all of the objects were loaded uh, during the first load. Now if I close this file and don't save it and I open again, we will take a look at the import options. Now uh, before we loaded all individual IFC objects if I select to load only the root object and hit OK, the loading will be much faster. And if I now take a look at the object, uh, it's, uh, it's actually, it looks similar. But if I click this drop down, I can see that I've got nothing from the garage down. There's no level or, or individual object. The garage is just one object. Uh, if I double click the garage, I open the, the levels below. So I've got only one level. Uh, and if I double click the level, I then load all of the objects that are inside of the levels, inside of this level. So, and then if I wanted to work with the outside wall, uh, I would I would double click it again and I would see all of the objects inside of the um, inside of this wall. So this is useful if you have a larger project with uh, several layer levels or loads of loads of um, objects. You can open just the root, so the building, and then you can double click just the level that you want to work with. And uh, this makes the import much, much faster because larger objects are, uh, as of FreeCAD 1.0, they can be quite slow to, to open in FreeCAD. So now let's close this one and let's uh, 
open uh, let's open the file again and look at the import if i choose not root object which, which, which was the building but project structure levels the levels will be loaded automatically so previously i had to double click the garage to see the levels now in this project i've got only one level but uh, it would load all levels and if i wanted to work with the object in or with inside of the level i would have to double click double click the level uh double click the level again okay now let's close again and we will open the same file again and i will actually load all individual ifc objects and look at the representation type so now we are loading the complete shapes if i choose no 3d representation at all i hit ok you could see that i have all of my data structure and i can see also the data of the objects but the 3d representation is not loaded if I wanted to load the 3D representation, let's say for instance this wall, I will go to the data properties of the object and in the shape mode, uh, the, the default when I loaded it is none and I will choose the shape. Now if I click away, the shape of the outside wall is loaded and I can see it here. So I could also load a floor like this and uh, you have also the option of right clicking, going to the IFC options uh, and if the, if the shape is not loaded you can choose load shape. And you can also select multiple objects and change the uh, sh uh, shape mode to shape with multiple objects like that so this is done because sometimes you don't need the geometry you just want to look at the project structure and the data so you can load them without the geometry and the loading is much faster of course without the geometry now you can take a look also at uh, uh, showing the shape the coin shape which is kind of a simplified shape which uh, does not have all of the all of the properties so let me take a look at this window um, here this is the full shape loaded and if i change it to coin uh, it's only the the lines that are shown so again when uh, when you have uh, the shape loaded as a coin shape it's simplified and uh, uh, and FreeCAD loads it and works with it much faster. I'm not sure why sometimes it's just the uh, outside lines. Sometimes it's shaded, like you can see with this with this wall here. But uh, it's definitely much more faster to work with the coin shape, the simplified shape. So if you want to load the simplified shapes by default in the open dialog you can go to a representation type and a low 3d representation only no shape means the coin uh, shape that I, was, I have shown you previously but be careful with this one it sometimes behave if i load root uh, project only if i load this project now open it by default it looks uh, like previously like normal but now if i double click the garage and double click the level the you can see that the windows disappeared or they switched into the simplified display display mode so i'm not sure if this is a bug of freecad 1.0 but sometimes things may look like they disappear after you after you open the uh, the drop down um, like this so now i was always opening the file in the locked ifc mode or strict mode i could easily unlock it by clicking this button and now you can see that i've got freecad project and inside of that freecad project i've got the 
linked IFC project. Again, if you want to know how locked or unlocked mode or strict and hybrid modes work, uh, uh, look, at the, look at the video which is in the description box below. But if I'm opening the file again, there's an option to open it either in the locked mode, which I was doing previously, or in unlocked mode. I will hit OK, and if I open it in unlocked mode, it immediately opens in unlocked mode and it's opened in an empty, empty FreeCAD project. So now if I created a wall, you can see that this is not an IFC wall, but uh, it's a FreeCAD project wall. So this is how you open the project in an unlocked mode. I have also options, so this is opening of uh, IFC files. I have also options of importing IFC files. So if I create a new BIM project and I will just create a wall just as a reference like so. So here I've got my standard IFC project with a wall and if I go to file and import. I've got option of importing one or I could import multiple IFC files. If I open that one, you can see that the import options are uh, as with opening the file. So I will just not to make it, I will import it like this. Here it automatically chooses to uh, to import as unlocked, you cannot import it as locked because you are importing, importing it into a existing project. And so here you got your you've got your standard uh, IFC ob objects. It's in unlocked or hybrid mode. What's important to note with IFC objects, I will take this uh, wall, is that uh, IFC objects have of course IFC attributes and they can have also IFC properties. Uh, and what's important to note is that there is no uh, IFC name property which should be a property of the wall or a property of the slab because the IFC name is taken from the FreeCAD label uh, 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 property. So this is actually used as IFC name inside of the, of the IFC file. So this is a small detail when, uh, when, when working with IFC files and exploring them. So this is how you import an IFC file. And the last thing I will show you is how to create an uh, empty IFC IFC project. So I started a new FreeCAD file and I will just draw again a wall which is a FreeCAD object. And if I wanted to have and to start an empty IFC file inside of uh, this FreeCAD project, I can use this tool which is BIM project and it creates, if I click it, it will automatically create an empty IFC project inside of my inside of my FreeCAD file and it has got the site building and one level inside of it. So I could either import an empty IFC project or I can create it directly in FreeCAD and if I wanted this wall to be, if I wanted this wall to be IFC object, not FreeCAD object, I will just drag and drop it onto the level object. Now the wall is an IFC object. And if you watched my previous tutorial about uh, strict IFC modes, you, can, you know that uh, if I want to now have just create IFC file, not do anything in FreeCAD, I will just switch to strict IFC mode and I'm saving and working only in the locked IFC mode. So this is how you can open and import IFC files to FreeCAD.
If you like using FreeCAD, consider supporting the project. The link to the donate page will be in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.